Hey guys, it's Ryan Fitcher doing a, another review turn of taking a look at uh, Red Lantern's issue number 30. So, um, yeah, so not a bad issue. I haven't read it for a while, so it might be a little hard to remember things. But really cool looking cover. It has Dexter on the front and the Red Lanterns. So, um, yeah, so it first starts out with this judge kind of person. Don't know who that is. Also, now I know who that is. Now I know that's Roy Harper and, uh, and Arrow because I am now watching Arrow. I'm getting, trying to get it finished. She's now a judge, and she has to put. Uh, she has to sit on a very uncomfortable chair, and she's been sitting there for years. She's been a judge for a long time, and then all of a sudden she gets shot because she has because uh, they're trying to take over. And then it goes back to uh, their planet, the Red Lantern's planet, and it shows uh, leaves uh, very damaged and stuff, and she's just like damaged and uh, no, not damaged. She's like really hurt and everything because. She was uh, fighting Dexstar in um, Atrocitus, or Atrocitus, whatever you want to pronounce it. And um, so they're talking about it, and sh they're like, we're going to go fight. And then they're like, if, and then the only person who can uh, help is, uh, is uh, Supergirl, which I actually really like that uh, picture. It's actually really cool. Um, so then they're uh, fighting, and they need, they want to go. And um, as she died, um, well, now we're back to the judge, and as she died, also, and a Red Lantern uh, ring comes, and then you get she's a new Red Lantern. But I thought that was really cool because they're bringing back on the story that there was um, in the beginning when uh, the new team started, uh, nine rings went out, and it now went to her one of the rings, and finally going to people now. So um, then she starts killing everyone because she's raged and going crazy. And then she takes off her hood, which that's a crazy face because she originally didn't have that face. And then they all decide to go and. Uh, even uh, Belize goes, and they're all going to go fight. Um, and they're going to go try finding all the Red Lanterns before Trustus and uh, Blar uh, and uh, Dexstar get them. And they decide, and then they're actually really late, and Dexstar and Trustus are already over there. And um, so they're uh, now trying, now it's kind of fighting over which Red Lantern gets who, because. Uh, they're trying to get all the Red Lanterns before Atrocitus, and Atrocitus is trying to get all the Red Lanterns before them. So, um, yeah, so, um, not a bad issue. Very slow, and I finished it really quickly, so that was my only problem with it. It was very, very quick, so, uh, not a long issue, so it took me probably, like, ten, no, not ten. It took me maybe seven, eight minutes to read, so that's kind of disappointing, but... Um, not a bad issue. Uh, looking forward to reading uh, Judgment Day Part 2, which is going to be a uh, Supergirl issue, which, okay, a uh, Supergirl issue, so looking forward to reading that. I'll be doing a review of that next week, which it comes out tomorrow, so considering this week. But, um, yeah, so a really good issue. Uh, I'm going to give it a four. Not a bad issue. Even though it wasn't, it took, didn't take me too long to read, it's still really not bad, because I'm not a fast reader. It just didn't have a lot of words in it, and it, it didn't have much story as I thought it would, so, um, yeah, it's a really good issue, um, if you're reading Red Lanterns, pick it up, and if you're not, you should still pick it up, really good, it's also a really good jumping on point, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, good issue, pick it up, it's not really much to say about it, it's just a good issue, and if you reading Red Lanterns, get it, if you're not, you're not, but, um, that's all I really had to say about the book, not bad. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.